Welcome to the City of Louisville Remote Planning and Zoning Commission meeting over Zoom. Today is August 18th, 2020 at 6.30 p.m. and we have a quorum present virtually. I want to give everyone listening from home some instructions on how to speak if you desire to. If you are viewing on your computer or through the smartphone application, press the raise your hand button. If you have called into the meeting, press star nine to raise your hand to speak. Once your hand is raised, staff will bring this to my attention and we will let you speak after the item is read and the staff presentation is given. If you are having trouble using these features, please email planning at cityoflewisville.com or call 817-938-4409 for assistance from staff. And so I guess the first um, on our agenda is we have called to order and announced the quorum. So we need to approve the minutes from the August 4th meeting. Are there any questions or corrections to the minutes? Move to approve. Motion by Karen to approve. I second. Second by Aram. We'll take a roll call vote. William? Aye. John? Aye. I vote aye as well. Alvin? Aye. Karen? Aye. Aram? Aye. And Francis? Aye. Okay, and then that is seven ayes. Motion passes. The second item is a public hearing. This is um, for a consideration of a zone change request from Agriculture Open Space District to Light Industrial District on approximately 17.189 acres, being all or part of seven tracts of land out of the Burl Hunter Survey, abstract number 544, and located at the northwest corner of South Edmonds Lane and Sphinx Road, as requested by Nathan Forney of Kimley Horn on behalf of Edward Cobb III, EOC, Round Grove, LLC, and Thomas V. Cobb, the property owners. This is case number 20-07-4-Z. Good evening, commissioners. Uh, this subject property, which is currently zoned agricultural open, currently contains three residential houses on seven tracts of land. Uh, the applicant is looking to rezone this property to light industrial and combine it with three additional tracts of land to the north to develop a, a warehouse development. Um, the two properties or the other tracts of land the developer is looking to um, replat and combine are already zoned light industrial are located to the north and west of this property. Um, the, both the Louisville 2025 plan and the Southwest Louisville small area plan um, call this area to be employment centers, which uh, warehouse development in this zoning complies with. Um, the applicants are attending this meeting. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer any other questions. Okay. Are there any questions from the commissioners at this point? Michelle, have we heard from any citizens on this? We have not. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open the public hearing. Anybody wishing to speak on this item, please raise your hand so Michelle knows and then uh, state your name. So I just want to note that the applicant is present uh, virtually, uh, but they haven't hit the raise hand button. Uh, so I'm sure they'll be available if you have questions. Commissioners, do we have any questions for the applicants? No. Okay. And is there anyone else out attending that, uh, the meeting? Uh, there are several uh, call-in listeners, but no one has uh, raised their hand or pressed star nine to speak. Okay. Then I guess having no one come forward, we will go ahead and close the public hearing. Any discussion on this item, commissioners? So the employment so the uh, warehouse does comply as an employment center, right? It, um, the plan's actually called as uh, distribution uses, 
through the small area plan. And then the, um, the Lucille 2025 says it as an employment center. So it, it meets the definition of both of these. Okay, thanks. If no one else has any comments or questions, may I have a motion? Move to approve. Motion by William. Second. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Who was first? Was it Alvin? Alvin. Yeah. <laughs> Second by Alvin. We'll do a roll call vote. William. Aye. John. Aye. I vote aye. Alvin. Aye. Karen. Aye. Aram. Aye. Francis. Aye. Motion passes. Thank Seven you, Commissioner. Zero. Um, this item will be appearing before City Council on September 14th for a second and final public hearing. Okay. Uh, having no other business, may I have a motion for adjournment? Make a motion that we adjourn. Motion by Alvin. Second. I second. Oh, I'm sorry. Second by Aram. Vote count. William. Aye. John. Aye. I vote aye. Alvin. Aye. Karen. Aye. Aram. Aye. And Francis. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. We uh, will be having an overlay board meeting. We're going to call to order now. We have a quorum present. And the first item up for, uh, on the agenda is to approve the minutes from the July 7th, 2020 meeting. Do I have a motion for the minutes, if there are no additions or corrections? Move to approve. Move to approve. <laughs> we'll go with motion by William, second by John. And vote. <laughs> Roll call vote, William. Aye. John. Aye. I vote aye. Alvin. Aye. Karen. Aye. Aram. Aye. And Francis. Aye. Okay, the minutes are approved. The um, next item on the agenda is a consideration of nine alternative standards associated with a proposed new medical equipment sterilization facility on 6.152 acre lot legally described as the Buddy Greg Motorhomes Edition, Lot 1, Block A, located at 1206 North Stemmons Freeway. It's zoned light industrial and general business as requested by Stephen Homeyer of Homeyer Engineering Incorporated on behalf of 1206 North Stemmons LLC, the property owner. This is case number 20-07-6 alt standards. Uh, June, I believe you're on mute. Thank you, Michelle. Commissioners, um, the applicant Sterotech is a company that um, sterilizes medical equipment using e beams and radiation, and the operation is FDA approved and it's done safely inside a concrete bunker. They've been working with um, economic development to try to find a, an office location in Louisville and has met with staff. Um, for a while discussing the options for developing this site. Um, as mentioned, this site used to be Buddy Greg Motorhome site, um, but has remained vacant for several years. There has been some attempts for uh, SUPs and other uh, projects that came forward. However, uh, staff believes that um, the applicant has worked with staff to bring the best design forward. Um, because what they're proposing is um, an office with the medical sterilization facility uh, that functions primarily as a warehouse. They are asking for alternative standards that's kind of uh, 
um, similar to Proterra on corporate that we considered uh, not too long ago. So they are asking um, the uh, long end of the building to be um, parallel to the street. This is due to the lot configuration. They're also requesting the reduced uh, parking ratio so that they can park offices at the office ratio of 250, per, uh, one space per 250 and warehouse portion at one per 2000. Architecturally, the um, applicant truly wanted to have a sleek modern look. So we worked with them closely. They are providing a tilt wall construction and to, um, as of their best attempt to meet our 80% um, brick or stone, they are actually bringing us um, porcelain tiles. Um, they will be put together unit by unit and um, the percentage of that will 25% will be provided at the, the front and that front entry feature will wrap around the corner and additional porcelain tiles will be provided to the south. Um, Step believes that this is a um, pretty unique design and has no objection to this request. They're also requesting um, reduction on the uh, window requirement on the ground floor and also for the transmission requ uh, transmittal uh, requirement for the windows. Um, we do want to have more uh, street interaction for any pedestrian friendly area. So that's why we have that requirement. But for this case, they don't really expect um, such pedestrian activities since this is more of a sterilization property where they're only their employees will come and they don't really expect any customers or any retail interaction. Um, they're also having some south facing and um, west facing windows and um, they would like to use the phone that's a little bit darker so that they can meet the um, energy code that's required per um, international building code. Um, Another alternate standard that they're requesting is that our ordinance requires any rooftop units or any equipment to be uh, screened with the uh, fences or screening that is the height uh, that matches the height of the equipment. But based on the line of sight and from the distance from the sidewalk to where the buildings and the equipments are located, they're um, saying that the parapet that's two feet and three feet high should be sufficient to block that from the street view. So they're asking not to provide additional fencing around the equipments. Staff has no objection to any of these uh, requests. Also, um, there are, Asking now to provide the open space um, that's required for any lots that's five feet or greater for 5%. Um, like I said, the facility will mainly be uh, operated privately for safety reasons. So they are saying that the, um, that the, um, they're asking for it to be waived. And staff has no uh, objection as we don't really expect a lot of pedestrian uh, access needing to uh, occur on this site. They are also asking um, alternative standards for their driveway spacing to be at 95 feet and instead of required 300 feet. Our engineering staff has no objection to this. And they're also asking to you uh, provide uh, a six foot sidewalk along the front entry um, where you can see the hand um, instead of required 12 foot um, walkway that's typically required. The 12 foot walkway is required when you think about um, strip centers where you're expecting people to walk from one building to the other. Um, there's only just two entrances and six foot should be sufficient for their employees to um, walk about the sites. That has no objection to this. Um, STEP did approve one administrative modification. Um, right now they have pretty deep uh, landscape buffer, but when the uh, text stop taking occurs, um, they're providing 18 feet of landscaping instead of required 20 feet. This is a 10% reduction and staff can't grant it, so staff has granted this modification. Last thing is that they are working right now with engineering staff to ask for variance, not to provide a deceleration lane at the front. Um, Traffic impact analysis is required for that, and um, that is not part of the I-35 overlay board's um, consideration. So we have included it for your information. They will have to provide the TIA to get 
the uh, variance approved by the city council. Uh, once all these are approved, they will move on to doing an engineering site plan um, and building part permit process. Staff's recommendation is that the overlay district board approve the alternative standard C. Um, which is to reduce the glass requirement at the ground floor and make recommendation for approval on item A, B, and D through I as presented. Um, staff is here if you have any questions. Are the applicants um, here? Yes, the applicants are present. Um, uh, they've not hit uh, the, the raise the hand feature that would be located at the bottom of their screen or hit star nine if they're calling in. Um, but they are present and I'm sure able to answer any questions should you have any. I have one, I'm just curious, I guess, what type of medical equipment that they will be sterilizing? So I see that uh, I'm trying to unmute you. I'm going to just go ahead and promote you to a panelist since that works a little bit easier. So you should be able to speak now. Hi, this is Larry Nichols with Stereotech. Um, we sterilize medical devices ranging from small items like sutures all the way up to heart replacement valves that um, just for this one single use device cost $25,000 um, used so that the doctors do not have to crack open the chest and can replace valves through the femur. Um, we also sterilize drugs, our DEA registered, um, have customers in currently have customers in 36 different states with our California facility and we're looking forward to opening something more centrally located to better serve our current customers and new customers. How do you get the uh, equipment to your facility? The customers ship the product to us. Uh, a lot of it is small customers, FedEx or UPS, they make a uh, you know, each have one shipment a day. And then there are probably three truckloads per day that arrive. Um, currently one customer is coming from um, McAllen, Texas, all the way to California. And that customer is about one truck a day. And they'd be stopping in Dallas instead of going all the way to California. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's like all I had. Does anybody else have any questions? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you. So, um, are we ready then for a motion or is there any discussion? May I have a motion? What was the recommendation again? Yes, um, it is to approve item C and recommend approval of A, B, D through I. Or as um, Steph recommended. Move to approve as staff recommended. Motion by William. Okay. Is that Francis? Oh, Karen. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you're hard to hear. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. I have a motion and a second. So we'll take the roll. William? Aye. John? Aye. I also vote aye. Alvin? Aye. Karen? Aye. Aram? Aye. And Francis. Aye. Okay, motion passes. Um, this, oh, sorry, this item will be uh, appearing to city council for second and final, uh, second hearing and final decision on September 14th. Thank you, June. 
Okay, the next item is adjournment. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Motion by Karen. Second. Second by Aram. William? Aye. John? Aye. I vote aye as well. Alvin? Aye. Karen? Aye. Aram? Aye. And Francis? Aye. Motion approved. We are adjourned.